Ooh, I'm giving away all the tips and tricks in this video. Next, I wish I looked better to give away all the tips and tricks. That would have been so much nicer. <laughs> Bellas and welcome back to my channel today I am going to be taking you guys behind the scenes of how I create photo content for Instagram if you guys have done any of my online classes that I've done this is basically me giving away free information on Instagram tips and tricks firstly what I always do is I find style inspiration or an outfit that I like. I've said this so many times before, I'm not really a fashion person, but the more I've been researching people who, who wear the similar type of style as I do, the more I've been getting excited to actually buy clothes. When I did that haul video a few weeks ago, I actually had screenshots saved on a folder on my phone of outfits that I like and I went to buy similar things like that. So that's what I do first of all. I, if I don't have something in my cupboard, then I wait and I buy stuff that will um, fit the style or the look that I'm trying to achieve. Oh, by the way, I did shower. I don't know if I said that. I'm, I showered and I put pajamas on so that I can get ready with you guys to shoot some content. So I've only recently discovered what exactly my style is. I never really put a name to it. I just bought what I liked. But if we have to classify my style, I would say that it is classic and sometimes cottage core mixed with some trendy pieces so that is what my style is very like but whatever so my um fashion inspiration that i look at on instagram there's literally only two people for now but if you guys know anyone else who dresses similar comment below so that i can get more of an idea first of all it's adrian houghton um i've been following her obviously since cheetah girls and I think her style has really evolved over the years. And she is definitely someone who wears classic pieces, but also mixes it, mixes it up with some trendy items. So the outfit that I'm going to show you guys is actually direct inspiration from one of her posts. And that is one of my style inspirations. The other one is Batsheva Hart. Um, I think that's how you say her name. If you guys haven't watched my on my unorthodox life on Netflix, I highly recommend you watch it and follow Bacheva. Her style is very cottage core, and I knew that I did like some elements of cottage core, but following her, there's just like it just amped up my love for the cottage core um, vibe and aesthetic. It's not as hectic as what's her name, um, Gabby. You know, Nikki and Gabby, the twins. It's not as deep as that. It's literally very subtle cottage core. But I am excited about my new found passion for fashion. Huh, so cheesy. The next thing that I do, and trust me, a lot of people do this, I look for poses. I am very awkward, believe it or not, when it comes to taking photos. And this is all I do. All the time. Every photo. So I need to fix that. Um, but I look at Pinterest and TikTok for photo pose inspiration. You literally just type in poses for Instagram and Insta TikTok has a whole category of people who teach posing so I reference all these things when I'm taking photos I screenshot or I save the videos and then when we go get actual content I reference back those and it also kind of takes me out of my comfort zone so I'm not doing the same thing over and over and over again and I think it's giving me like a range of poses which I need in this type of industry that I'm in once I have my outfit and my poses um, sort of figured out I need to work on hair and makeup so today for hair my hair currently is it's not straight and there's no product in for the curls so it's just washed and put in a bun so I think I'm gonna put it into a sleek bun but I'm gonna have some pieces down the front to kind of go with the cottage core the way the outfit is right now and uh, maybe put like a braid or something on the side just to make it a little bit more girly and then for makeup obviously I'm gonna go subtle I never do anything crazy with my makeup I am gonna go subtle with my makeup but maybe 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 I'll do a bright lip I don't know if I'm going to though because I'm always wearing the same lipstick which is 1993 by Urban Decay so that is my plan for hair and makeup and then finally and this is the one that irritates me the most is finding a location to shoot for those of you who don't shoot content and don't create content the most annoying thing is standing in a public place like a parking lot or 
Melrose Arch or something, if you're taking photos with a camera, the security guards will come for you. They will come and tell you to stop taking photos, which I don't understand why. But if you're taking photos with your cell phone, they're fine with that, which to me just doesn't make any sense at all, but it is what it is. So finding a location for me is always the most difficult thing because one, I don't want to reuse the same location over and over and over again. Two, there's obviously restrictions. You can't just go randomly shoot because people are going to be like, hey, like the security guards. Number three, I don't usually like shooting in restaurants. Two reasons. Number one, COVID. Number two, um, it's a little bit awkward. Like obviously you get permission first and ask if you can take photos, but it is a little bit awkward, especially if there's other people in the restaurant. I don't even know when last I took photos in a restaurant. It's been probably since like last year, I think. Yeah, I think last year when we went to Doppio. So that is the location thing. The other thing that's easy with location is our house has blank walls like this. So I can literally set up whatever scene I want. I remember taking photos where I put the bar stool and um, a basket and that was kind of my little setup for a photo. I can shoot content in my house, but I think for this outfit I do need to be outside. So I'm probably going to find a lonely street and shoot there. For me that is the easiest ones to shoot because there's no one that's going to be like, hey, uh, you just have to watch out for cars. So that's basically how I shoot my content. And then for editing, so I'm going to show you all my photo and video editing apps. I don't use Facetune that often. I don't use Unfold and Storylux are more for my stories. Camera Connect is the app that I use to send photos from my camera to my cell phone. So it connects to each other via Wi-Fi. And then Canva, I use that more for um, creating business stories for the Cella Bella page or for Neon Pineapple. And then Visco Cam, I don't use that anymore. Teza, I used to use Teza for all my photos. So Teza has presets that I use. So I currently use the Teza app for the House Tresella page. And then Snapseed, I use Snapseed to kind of erase things and take things out of the photo. So if I'm shooting on a um let's say on a rooftop and there's like car oil stained on the floor i'll use snapseed and use the healing tool and take that out when i worked at disney and I had access to photoshop that was so much easier because i could just take it out properly using photoshop but now i use the healing tool on the um, snapseed app but what i currently use to edit all my my instagram photos is lightroom and i have a preset i can't remember what the preset is called now i think it's by someone called nani creates but then i edited it to suit me because obviously my skin tone kept changing in the presets so so many people asked me when i post on my instagram story where can you buy it from where can you buy it from when i literally said i buy it from etsy so you go on Etsy and you type in Instagram presets or I typed in Instagram presets for brown skin because sometimes the presets, oh, this lighting is so much better. Why don't I just do this? Sometimes the presets will look stunning on what you buy, but then when you put it on our skin tone, you're going to look very weird. So there's that. So once you buy your preset off Etsy, they give you download instructions. You have to have the Lightroom app and it shows you how to save those presets and apply it to your photos. And then I just tweak it slightly to figure out how to match it to my skin tone. And presets are actually very affordable. You can get them from as little as like 13 Rand. So just do your research, go on Etsy, find a preset and then edit it. And then, um, oh, I'm giving away all the tips and tricks in this video. Neck, I wish I looked better to give away all the tips and tricks. That would have been so much nicer. Next, what I do is posting. So I have a posting schedule. For those of you who have done my online classes, you would know that I have a content plan. And I have a posting schedule. I currently post every second day. I used to, before lockdown, post every single day. And then now, I just got used to posting every second day. Also, it's it's a lot of effort. It is a lot of effort because I... So what I do is when I go take photos, these are all the tricks. When I go take photos, I shoot one outfit, but I make sure that I get three looks. So, I mean, three different poses. 
So every time I post, I post one output but three times on my feed and it's scattered throughout my feed. So my feed is planned and then I also have a notepad with different hashtags. I have three sets of hashtags for normal lifestyle content. Then I've got hashtags for Monday motivations, hashtags for my reels, hashtags if I'm posting something about my nails, house Tricella hashtags, neon pineapple hashtags. So that it's just easier for me to copy and paste those hashtags and modify them if I need to um, according to the photo. That is that. And then captions, if I have time during the week, I'll pre-plan captions according to what my content plan says I'm posting for the week. If I don't have time, I just think of something on the spot. Wow, that was a lot of information for free. Okay, <laughs> so now I need to go do my hair and my makeup, but let me first show you what I'm wearing today. Is this in focus? This is the top, it's from Zara. I wore this last year to the last event that I went to, which was a Maybelline event. And then these are the jeans that I'm going to wear. They are from Mr. Price. They don't fit me that well, so I'm just going to have to make a plan. This is the bag that I'm wearing. Again, you guys have seen this on my um, one of my vlogs when I did a haul. This is not my vibe at all whatsoever, but it goes with this outfit. And these are the shoes. You've also seen them in my haul. They are from Cotton On. I wore them to the farmer's market by mistake this week, so they're very dirty. Hello, I wanted to show you guys my like full makeup routine and stuff but Trevino was on a call so I had to do a time lapse but I can still show you what products I used. I use the Maybelline up to 30 hour foundation in the shade number 61. That is my foundation. And for my eyes, I used this Urban Decay Born to Run palette. This is literally all I use. Like, all. Then to contour my nose and my cheekbones, I use this Allegal Spice palette. Also something I've been using for 500,000 years. My blush is Gingerly by MAC. If we can get in focus, that would be great. For my eyebrows, I use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade number. I have no idea. Four. And then I have the Gimme Brow Setting Gel, Brow Gel, in the shade number five. And for my eyebrows, I use, I mean, my eyelashes, I use this Pixie Large Lash Mascara on the bottom. And I use the Maybelline New York Falsies Lash Lift Mascara on the top. This one kind of smudges on the bottom, so I only use it on top. And it makes my lashes look really pretty. And then for my lips, I think because my eyeshadow has like a pinky vibe to it, I'm going to use this color. It's a mini one from MAC. It's called Myrrh. So I'm going to put this on my lips. But to line my lips, I'm going to use something darker. And I usually use this Essence Lip Liner in the color Soft Berry. So I'm going to do my lips, get dressed, put jewelry on, and then we're going to go shoot content. And then we're going to go shoot content. Now that I'm ready to go shoot content, where is the light? Oh gosh. So we're going to go find the spot. The one thing that I did forget to mention is when you are shooting content and if you let's say you're actually getting dressed to go somewhere and you're not just dressing up like me to go shoot content you're gonna wear a mask so pack in your bag your foundation your foundation brush and your lipstick to touch up this part of your face when you're ready to get content and because i'm already dressed and i look nice and my hair is nice and the lighting is terrible because my hair is nice and my makeup is done and everything is done when i go home i'm also going to shoot content for instagram so i like to when i look nice i like to shoot as much content as possible i'm also shooting a tiktok video about the same thing so i'm going to shoot an igtv when i go home about some skincare products that i've been using recently and now we need to find the location. We're looking for a street. I found a tree and it has lots of pink flowers on it. But I think it might be a little bit too dark. Should be okay. And like looking at it like it's gonna look nice for close up, but all the way back there's a lot of I think a half dead trees around work. it. Can't we just find one location to shoot at? We can, but you saw this pretty tree and you wanted to stop. I know, but now I'm like sorry. Okay. 
Also, another tip for getting great content is find a husband or boyfriend that's patient. Sorry, guys, I didn't even do my hair. It's not your content day, it's my content day. Yeah, we got amazing content. I'm excited. I'm excited. excited. We could have even taken content here. That's a museum. I'm back home now and we just finished getting content. So I am very excited about this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. When you see me post these photos, this one, on Instagram, comment with a pink flower emoji so that I know that you are from YouTube. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, like, follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, and see you guys next week for a new video. Bye, Cellabellas.